Oh my gosh. 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 Oh my what gosh. did you just do, huh? Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. afternoon <laughs> it's almost one so that's why I'm saying afternoon anyways Bobby and I are out on our walk Let's see there she is she's just sleeping so yeah so I started so I'm three weeks um three weeks postpartum I guess you could say she's gonna be a month this Saturday which is crazy I can't believe a month has already gone by so anyways but I really wanted to start getting back into you know working out um and getting back in shape um i've already lost like 20 pounds yeah 20 pounds um since you know being pregnant so i think that's pretty good anyways sorry is that kind of dark there we go so we're out on our walk and i think it's really important to get back into shape after having kids like to be honest i was really i was in pretty good shape um, before I got pregnant and I worked out a little bit um, in the first trimester and then I got sick so I stopped working out um, but overall like I only gained like I, I think I was 20 pounds only gained 20 pounds and honestly I that's not that bad and I really didn't I I feel like my self-esteem through my pregnancy was actually really good I I mean towards the end I was like man I'm so big or whatever and but other than that, like, I actually carried very small, um, oh, baby, oh. don't know what that was about. She probably likes moving, so I might have to keep walking and do this video. Um, but anyways, my back to what I was saying, my self-esteem through my pregnancy was always pretty high because I don't want her going through life wondering if she's fit or enough or if she looks beautiful enough. And so that kind of starts and stems off from myself. Like if she hears me say, oh, I look terrible or I'm fat or whatever, my knee, it's okay. Then she's going to start saying that about herself. And so I've really worked on being more positive about my self-image. And I feel like a lot of women um, struggle with that. And, you know, social media definitely doesn't help. Like, you know, you see all these top models and, you know, women who are pregnant in bikinis with no stretch marks or whatever. You know, so it does... I'm going to walk and walk with her. So, I mean, it does make you like it does it does make you feel bad and feel like you're not you're not like that you know top awesome looking person but then again you don't also have to, you don't have to abuse yourself either like you don't like through mine I really didn't eat a lot of sorry that's really dark I didn't eat sugars a lot I mean Tucker and I are doing a no sugar um like we've been doing a no sugar fast since the beginning of this year so we only eat sugar on like special occasions so like holidays birthdays or whatever and so but I even those days I really didn't want to give myself sugar because I knew that it was going to go right to her and I just I couldn't I physically and just mentally couldn't do it like it broke my heart if I ate sugar and even now with nursing um I have to be very careful with what I eat because I noticed um Ooh, my arm's getting tired. I notice when I eat um, meat, it actually really makes her tummy upset and gives her really, um, let's see, she fell back asleep. It gives her really um, gassy, a gassy tummy. And so um, her pediatrician said I might just have to not eat them, eat meats for a little bit, but then slowly start to introduce them back into my diet. Um, so anyways, so that's like what I've noticed just as far as nursing. But even, 
So like I feel like even after being pregnant, you know, I, I don't want to be so overweight that I can't play with my my kid. I, I like that would make me so sad and make I feel like make her sad because her mom can't play with her because I'm too overweight or too unhealthy that I am out of breath if I walk down the stairs. And so I've really kind of made it a goal of mine to start working out um, so that I feel better about myself because I always do. Whenever I work out and feel good, I'm like, man, I did I did awesome. I got my workout in and things like that. And also I want to be an example to Bobby because, you know, if she's seeing her mom work out, then that's I want to instill that in her life as well to always be very healthy and fit. And so these are kind of just like tidbits and things that came to my mind um, for like our, our vlog today. But also, um, I'm really excited. Tucker and I are actually wanting, I think uh, if you watched my last, our last video, we mentioned that we want to start traveling more. And so um, for my birthday, there goes the train. For my birthday next month, we're actually gonna, oh honey, it's okay. I might have to keep walking, she really likes walking. For my birthday next month, we're going down to Moab. <coughs> Honey, it's okay. She really doesn't like her fur seat either. Um, but we're gonna go to Moab and go hike to the Utah Arch. It's an awesome hike. I've done it once before, but Tucker's never been. So we're gonna go do that. But I also found that you can, there's this train called Am, Amtrak's, I think it's called. And it goes from, Honey, there's stops that go from uh, California all the way down that coast, and then it also goes across the state. So it starts in California and ends in New York. And it's like super cheap. It's like 215 bucks, I think. And you can go on different like excursions, like it stops off. And um, it's okay, baby. So anyway, so we want to start, you know, traveling more as a family and start doing that because we would definitely want to show Bobby a lot of the world and kind of just show our different cultures and different lifestyles that people are living because when I was younger my my mom my parents took me to Argentina and that was such a huge eye-opener to be able to see different different cultures and different lifestyles that weren't mine and it really made me feel super blessed I was like wow I'm really blessed with where I live and the food I eat and you know things like that so we definitely want to do that with her so anyways that's kind of like just my tidbits <laughs> of this morning I've really I've been oh, it's okay she's probably getting hungry I really wanted to kind of just share my share my thoughts on that um about being fit and being healthy not again not for your like again for yourself but for your kid and for your husband or significant other because I mean Tucker really likes it when I'm in shape and I'm skinny and I really like it when I'm in shape and I'm skinny and so I just want to do it for him and do it for me and my family so that I can go and do all these things with them so anyways that's my tidbits and and yesterday man last night we had such a late night we went to one of our friends birthday parties And um, it was super fun. We went to Texas Roadhouse. Mm, super there. yummy food. I love Texas Roadhouse. So thank you, Texas Roadhouse, for having awesome food. And I love the birthday saddle and their chant that they do. And it was my uh, friend, Nicole, decked out her boyfriend's birthday. Pretty awesome. We all had birthday hats on and she had big balloons. So it was really awesome. So thank you, Texas Roadhouse for uh, letting us come and eat your awesome food and being being there, the servers are all awesome. So anyways, we're going to, oh, now she's, see I told you, every time we start walking, she falls back to sleep. Anyways, so we're gonna go home, finish up some things. So I just got done feeding Bobby. There she is, she's milk drunk. Anyways, we're just waiting for Tucker to get home because he has, some very exciting news. I am beyond 
proud of him and his success that he's been having and um, just everything. So we're kind of waiting for him to get home. <laughs> now you're okay. So, Hun, what happened today? I got off work. <laughs> you know that's not what I mean. I got off work. <laughs> I came oh, home I'm safely. Sorry, honey. I got home safely. Oh, yeah. I got a headache. Because you didn't eat? Mm -hmm. And why didn't you eat? Because today was my last day to make $10,000 in a month. And you're kind of dark. There you go. And I did it. And yeah, you I go? wasn't eating. I was feeling great. And I was feeling overwhelmed. And I finally did it. And. Tell them how long has this been your goal? This has been my goal for years. Like, I've been at this for probably five years. Probably five years this year or next year or sometime, but within a, within the same month of having a baby, I made my ten k ten thousand dollar month, Yay. which is pretty sweet. So I'm still waiting to get the uh, the official official. Yes, you did. What size are you? Um, but yeah, one of when I sent in all the screenshots and everything, and one of one of the other people said, "Yeah, you did it." So what do you get? I get a shirt that says Dan Henry's 10K Club shirt award deal <gasps> type thing. You're so excited. Yeah. So. He's so sweet. He calls me crying, and he's so sweet when he cries. And I literally thought, like, he was going to call me crying and say that I got fired from his job well, or pulled yeah. over or something. So and one so. time I did get pulled over, and I felt so bad because it was, like, my third time in a month. Yeah. Anyway. So I just felt so bad. Yeah, so he last time he did call me crying because he, he did get pulled over. So I was like, oh no, did he get a ticket or whatever? But no, it's because he hit his goal and I'm so proud of him. Yay. And he just had an awesome month. This last month he had a baby. This month he hit 10K. And next month he gets to meet. Oh my gosh. 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 Oh my what my did gosh. you just do, huh? Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. I just got tickets. For? For an event. What event? A fantastic event. Oh my gosh. <laughs> no, I get to go see Gary Vaynerchuk September 22nd and have lunch with him and get a photo with him. And so me and my buddy, uh, just a buddy for a mastermind group that we have, we split it. So we got tickets. Now we're going to go meet and greet and lunch with Gary freaking Vaynerchuk. Yep. <laughs> and I'm pumped. He is so excited. I am so excited. He's freaking out. Yay, yay. <laughs> yay, yay. <laughs> yeah, I was going to go, but I guess it's a loud event and this... Little teeny didn't do very good at the last lab event, so that's okay. She kind of got sick. Yeah, and I really want to meet him too. I'm kind of jealous. I'm not gonna lie, but it's okay because Tucker has done so good, and he's been just such an awesome husband that he now gets to get rewarded with going to meet very ga Gary. Very, <laughs> very Gary. Gary. Very, very Chuck. Very Gator Chuck. <laughs> No, Gary V. So that's pretty exciting, huh? Hun? Yeah, I'm pumped. I'm so excited. So we went and got our cold tone, and we were sick. Since we haven't so since, much sugar. I know. Since we haven't been doing sugar like this whole year, like sugar makes us really sick, and we actually don't like crave it anymore. Yeah, I don't crave sugar like ever. Like no. I see it, it's just like. Unappealing. It's just unappealing, but it goes through one ear basically and out the other. <laughs> yeah. And, yeah, sugar's just not, it doesn't do its thing anymore. Like, I, I, used know. To, I used to be a sugar holic. Like, I would just eat and eat and eat, like, tons. But I just now we can't so do it. nasty. I know, we're both like, well, I feel and like way crap. too much cold stone. Yeah. But, anyways, so we're going to snuggle and go to bed as much as I can go to bed before little lady love wakes up. Anyways, make sure you guys hit that subscribe button so that you can see more, and I'll see you later. Bye! Bye!